I'm guessing. Uh, no, it does nothing. Hmm. What spell did you use? Oh, I used the... Um, mushrooms. I dream, dreamt of mushrooms. Does that mean anything? I, I kind of hate you, York. Don't make me hate you. Uh, it seems to open the way in front of you with a metallic screech. So that's what I was thinking about using that one. Okay, that made a noise. Hey, you're talking the iron bars, and though the grate feels somewhat loose, you are unable to pull it free. Let's try the spell on this one. Hmm. Didn't do it. I could try and use this iron bar to pry these iron bars. Yep, that's it. You lever the bar under the bars and pry them open. Huh. that looks like the helmet from Dead Space. And there are mushrooms. God damn it, York. Turning <laughs> into the darkness, you drop down the muck and crawl through the tight opening. It's like, you know, sex with uh, Lady Dimiscu. Nothing? <laughs> okay, fine. Give York a mushroom. <laughs> Stone Den is damp and smells of... Cops, copes, and green foliage. As if a mirage fading signs of the cavern shimmers the power and emanates from the standing stone obelisk. Mushroom has an earthly, fresh dirt smell to it. Looks like we're gonna have to eat it. You gulp down the mushroom, choking a bit on the acidic taste. You hand the mushroom to Yorick. He opens wide and consumes the fungal treat with a smacking sound. Not sure how you knew I was craving some mushrooms, but thank you all the same. <laughs> I hope I didn't need those mushrooms for shit. I bet you. Yeah, you know I. Have... Re reloading. <laughs> Th this game doesn't just give you shit for no reason. <laughs> and sometimes it does, and that's the hard part. You can't always tell. Lush subterranean right. din. Well, I mean, it's where the druid hangs out, so... So, he was telling you earlier you need to talk to the wizard, and you needed something-something obelisk, right? Yeah, well, there's the obelisk, and, uh... Stone obelisk nearly ten hands high. How high is a hand? Strange Grifes, three notches. Yeah, it's just like the obelisk we saw at the beginning. Use the scrying four inches. Really? But an inch is like that. What? The hell? what? I'm doing the measurement on my own hand to figure out how that. What? Alright. So, Invocan, I believe, is what we need to use. You focus your will on the sun obelisk and the whispered word, your spell is unleashed. A strange apparition coalesces from within the obelisk and a ghostly figure of an old man cloaked in a shimmering veil. I think we're about to get a cutscene. You have done well, yep. simple soldier. Now, listen if you have ears. Since huh? the shadows grow long and time fleet. Some forty years past, an evil, the likes the world has not beheld, escaped its prison. Talimar, the Black, he of whom I have already spoken. This warlock lord brought forth his dark magics and 
conjurations and unleashed his foul vassals, desecrating these sacred halls. Talimar has laid waste to the combined power of man. And what of the circle of twelve, the great wizards? They are no more. I am the last. Pity me not, boy. We were resolute in our judgment, but erred greatly. Could have been better to put our brother to death, but mercy and folly prevailed. I know not Talimar's full plans, but have discovered enough to Talimar. fill my heart with fear. Talimar! And yet, hope remains, um, num, jibai, and it um, stands num, or falters with you. Fare thee well. Mm. Oh, well, alright. Hey, you dropped an orb. Uh, Lakmar the Timeless vanishes behind a scroll and a glowing orb and a word. Fare thee well. Congratulations, you've earned the Widger's Friend achievement. Well, let's talk to the uh, orb. Close your eyes and ask a question while shaking the orb. York pipes up and says, yes, definitely. Oh, well, then we'll take that, it. That is funny. The scroll itself is old quality, extremely brittle. Let's open this up. I think it's your turn to read. You read the words on the scroll. Five to find, three are one. One gives access to... One gives access the bladed sun, the silver orb to banish below. Wow, we've we've heard this before. Yes, we have. The staff of ages to vanquish the foe, joining the two, the golden thorn, the last to invoke the platinum horn. We should probably take that anyway, even though we know this one very well. Ah, it's this one yeah. again. Yeah. So uh, let me take a look at this orb. Orb. I can open it. I Where's... bet we can put. I can. I bet we can put wispy little creatures in that orb. I'm betting you're right. Also, alchemy is a thing, maybe. So probably that's what the mushrooms are for. <laughs> well, let's quick save and get to getting back to that uh, one duder thing. Also, we haven't actually seen what the other skull has powered up. We may have to get deeper into the uh, into the realm. Okay, there's that thing. Use the orb on that thing. Yep. Oh, there we go. Taking the silver orb from your satchel, you advance on the ice elemental. You can barely hold the power from within. The orb latches onto the singularity and pulls it inside. Frosty patterns emanate in case the orbs. The orb. Singular. So, hey, we got, we got this thing. I wonder if this is the silver orb that goes on top of the uh, Staff of Ages. That is a good question. All right. As you release the ice elemental, you fumble with the silver orb, dropping it into the lake. Immediately, the water freezes into a solid sheet of ice. Excellent work. Thank you. Well. The heat from lit torch melts the ice around the silver orb, freeing it. The ancient artifact rises to the surface of the frozen lake. Yep. So that trick still works. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. New. 
Your way across the slippery ice toward the chain skeleton. The skeleton remains unfortunate soul chained securely to the rock. Why? That Just... dude did something bad. <laughs> Even though you cannot read the inscription of the rock, you understand the intent to warn away. Gauze like fabric wrapped around the skeleton's head like a blindfold. Well, we'll just take that. Uh, place it in the pack. If anything would ever be considered a skeleton key, it would be this. Lol. Just take that. Um, I mean, this is what happens when you eat the wizard's pudding. That was his pudding. Uh, it's gotta be. See, and, and that's my question. Did the evil wizard lock him up here like this? Or did the uh, <coughs> good wizards lock a dude up like this? I don't know. Uh, sorry, Doom Lad, his skull isn't, uh, awesome. I mean, technically, right. that waterfall should be flooding the place right now. Doing your logic. I still haven't seen what that other skull has lit up. Oh no, I just had a terrible thought. Uh huh. Okay, no. I thought the water had to be high. To get in. Yeah. Uh just just in case, let me check. Oh, wait, I saw that. I gotta go back. And yeah, there's nothing in here. But look look above the mirrors. Look above the mirrors. Give me a moment. Ah, you're not even running in front of your computer, are you? No, I'm. I'm. Oh, you're getting. They're caught. glowing. They're glowing. I think that deserves another slice of apple for me. Well, you said look above the mirrors. I'm looking at the ceiling. I'm looking oh, at God the, damn it. the the formation in not the rocks. Not that far above the mirrors. <laughs> No. All right, all right. You insert the key, turn it, the door unlocks, and you throw away the key. Like, that's a skeleton key, though. Like, we could use that, that key. I got it figured out what bugged me about the art. It feels like you should be in the picture. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Waves of heat slam into your body, making your eyes water. I'm, I'm sure this uh, is... We've got the orb. Yeah, but it's, it doesn't have the thing anymore. It's just an empty orb. Oh, no. Clear orb, silver about it, relatively vibrates, storm... Um, oh, well, there we've... I bet, I bet you, Buck, we gotta go get the... Uh, we gotta get the water creature now, which means... Oh shit! I don't know um, where that water creature is. Uh, we maybe we've got we've got to turn that waterfall back on somehow. Ah, uh, it's going anyway. A wave of heat washes over you as you move into the next room. The intense heat, surely from unearthly fire before you, fills the large room. Let's let's open this door. That, uh, I didn't expect that. As you head for the far door, the bright position materializes the bridge, pulling a cauldron of heat behind it. Swirl of fire, singularity explodes and, fash and fashions itself into a creature out of your worst nightmares. The beast hisses at you, blocking your way. Um, I don't suppose you'd like some gold? Here, ha have a coin. On, on me. Oh, no, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Since he can att an attack, the fire drake hurls itself at you in a terrifying frenzy of claw and flame. You've been 
shish kebab and flambe flambeed. <laughs> Tis a sad thing that your adventures have ended here. That wafer, that that wavering's lame. Doesn't even like gold. All right, all right. We gotta go all the way back to the entrance and start fucking with the controls again. Uh, yeah, what's that way? Well, unfortunately, you should just be able to... Oh, it's not that big a deal. It's, uh, middle, middle, down. No, I think it's down, down, up. No, it's middle, middle, down. Down, down, up is the, uh, sewer. Oh, shit, no, you were right. That was the sewer, what I just did. That sounds pretty promising indeed. No, that no, that was actually not promising, York. That was dumb of me. You were completely right, Captain. I will not be smug about it, but I am smirking. Sounded encouraging, hey boy. Should probably go see what you just did. All right, let's get that water elemental. Oh, shit. The lake's unfrozen. Uh, okay. Um. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is correct. <laughs> That's the waterfall feeding the ancient waterway. The riverbed resembles a muddy rock. I don't suppose there's another. Okay, another maybe way? you're both wrong. I mean, like, yeah, maybe. Hey, maybe. Hey. Come here, little guy. Don't take you with us. I need you for reasons. Okay, for certain, that second skull has lit up these mirrors, and I don't know why. The fire has no effect on the silver orb. Huh. Usually you throw it into the, the fire. Maybe you throw it at the drake? Yep, there we go. Intense fire from the drake overpowers the lesser magic of the elemental. Well, that didn't work. Disappearing with a whimper. Well, now you've done it. I mean, this is how you beat it in the Nintendo. I know. I'm I'm betting it's got to be the water elemental. But how do I get the water elemental? Uh, oh shit. Okay, so 
okay, so we've done something in reverse. It is the gears. We, yes, it is the gears. It is the gears we got to figure out. So actually, it's not hard. I just do both of them. Right? One to drain, and the other to uh, uh, to turn the waterfall back on. And just to be certain, let's make sure I am using the right one. Yeah, yeah, down, down, up, and middle, middle, down. You're fucking kidding me. <laughs> oh, yeah, you gotta go put the skull back. <laughs> I did that to save time. Hey, I just realized that this thing up here changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this? An ornate stone archway? No, okay. Okay, try this again. Oh good, it kept my settings for me. So, alright. That's one. That was down, down, up, right? And that's all the way down. There's a rush for water somewhere else. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to see if I can make it to the waterfall without using any more torches. It's fine. I'm sure we're fine. It's getting, getting... Getting dark. Oh, hey! We've got low torch music now. It's better than the old uh, low torch music. Oh, shit. Find yourself on the shores. Oh, God damn it. The room lurches and spins and waves a nausea over you. You follow close to stabbing pain in your stomach. You reel from discomfort from the image of the banshee flashing before your eyes. I'm sure it's fine. The magnificent waterfall cascades from the mouth of the ancient stone statue, painstakingly carved, blah, blah, blah. We've already read this. The banshee's curse is getting worse. We're, we're okay. Nothing's wrong. Just worrying. So they remove the star orb. How from the orb? All right, yeah, we, we pulled it out. I wonder if the Banshee's curse is tied to the torch. That is a good question. Just walking along. Oh hey, you know what? There, there is light. Because of the, uh, that's that's nice that they were able to do that. That's real. That's good. Because now that there's a brazier here, I can, uh, I can still see. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Okay. Uh oh. My, your torch has been extinguished. I'm, I'm sure everything's okay. Um, my, mild problem. Can't see the hatch to go up. There's actually... Wait, what is that? 
That wasn't there before, right? Due to more luck than actual skill, you stumble out of the darkness into the room into the space beyond. Why did I when you look at the chamber? Unfortunately, it's just too dark to make anything out. I can kind of see what's going on. Do the more luck than the skill, you stumble out of the darkness, blah, blah, blah. Let's go back. No, we're, we're doing fine. Everything's fine. It's just worrying. Uh, in fact, you know, we should probably uh, check out the crypt real quick while we're doing... Oh, what's what's this? That that's that was a musical flare. As you spin around to the exit chamber, you trip and fall headlong towards the floor. Your head impacts the ground so hard that it cracks open, sending blood and gray matter. Holy shit! How far did I fall? Jesus! <laughs> I was climbing upstairs. Tis well, you a asked sad for this. thing. That your adventures have ended here. They really let you go a long while without a torch. Yeah, well, the Nintendo version would. Uh, it would just kill you. you directly, yeah. Make sure everything's in here. Yep, that's fine. God damn it. Yeah. So we need to find a cure for the Banshee's curse now. One hell of a trip, yeah. Get our little friend here. Mm -hmm. There's a slight problem with the idea of having a time limit. Just one mild problem, and that is, I mean, we could just start the game over again and tediously go through all the puzzles once more. I think that's kind of the idea. I mean, the punishment is you have to go through the puzzles again. Okay, save here. I wish you luck. Adankashan. Still don't know what's up with these mirrors. A faint warping effect across the surface, okay. Kept seeing movement behind you. And there's a faint thing across the surface again. Uh, cannot be opened. You point to your reflection with both hands and say, Looking good! Give me a break, says York in exasperation. Well, the heat washes over you as you move to the next room. Hey, look, it's our Drake friend. Let's give this a try. Uh, nope. That spirit's like, nope, fuck you. <laughs> All right, I am. Now I got another idea. Backing up a little bit. I am going to throw it into the fire below. Once released from the silver orb, magical element immediately extinguishes the flame in the fire pit before disappearing. The effect of the nice fire drake is disastrous. Unable to free, unable to feed upon the magical flames. The dragon's power ebbs. And the thing vanishes in a cloud of acrid smoke and feeble sparks. See, I smart. 
Very well done, sir. Very well done. Now I just gotta deal with the troll. Door sticks a little, but when you put your shoulder into it, it finally opens. Huh. Oh. Alright. Veins are like, uh, of the rock. Well, this isn't troll stuff. And hey, I see a spot to put it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just, just for the hell of it, let me look at it. Uh, it's an empty spot here. Seems to be where uh, gear should go. There we go. Now we need to find something to pull. Uh Huh. Alright, you let out a breath to gather your will and chant the spell. Debris falls from the rocks above and the iron grate responds, lifting the shuddering squeal. Clever girl. Well, I mean, it's metal and I was waiting for a metal screech. It's the only spell we haven't used either. Oh, wait. Holy shit. What am I looking at? Reaching upwards, this ancient skeleton looks like it might have once been the inhabitants of the castle. I, I want... Your skull. Okay. Uh, the, the torn clothes of the dead figure, rolled piece of parchment is all that catches your fancy. You know what my sixth sense tells me? What's that, York? We should have been looking for the castle proper. That's what it tells me. Well, thank you, York. You're so helpful, York. Rolled up parchment. I think it's your turn to read the parchment. You unroll the scroll. Be careful not to damage. Blah, blah, blah. You read the elegant writing of the scroll. Brother Delden, please see to it that the circle chamber is prepared for the ritual. The circle dais was in need of some repair the last time we performed the in initiate spell on it. We have a young candidate ready for initiation. Once the rite is performed on the platform, please bestow on him all authority and privilege commensurate with an alkalite of the order. It is signed with an archaic letter L. I mean, that's clearly Lacmere. I wonder if this is the uh, acolyte. Whoops. Whoa, what is this? Passage winds to the right into a larger opening beyond. Is like... that a, what is that bar on the floor? Oh, hey, I didn't see that. Uh, it's an inanimate ro carbon rod. Uh, do we already have one of those? No, no we, have... we used it to... Yeah, we no, to we, we have it as well. So oh, we have nice. two. Okay. Uh-huh. Well, we kind of know what to do here. Yeah? Why do we need two bars? I don't know. Why do we need two coins? This vast chamber is dominated by intricately carved circle reeved uh, by 12 stone throwings. <laughs> Power <laughs> pulsates from the mystical symbols set in the floor. Yeah, sorry about that. <sighs> hey, I got, another, uh, I got another scroll for you to read. While much of the scroll is faded, one part still stands out. And in the end, the evil shall be thrice defeated and thrice returned. The first shall raise a warder to bar the gates from opening. The second shall raise one of the carefree to travel the path of luck. And the last shall raise a raven to remake what was undone. The letter is signed by Gabriel and includes a gift glyph which shows four vertical lines of varying height. I'm sorry, I read that terribly. Uh, that's okay. It's still better than the <laughs> way I would have read it. Go ahead and take that. Another scrying stone. Ooh, where? Oh. Okay, the obelisk. Uh. Yeah. 
you should cast the one spell on the obelisk. No, I'm just looking around. Give me a sec. I have no patience for you. Like, the entire <laughs> point of this is to look around, right? You're not wrong. And if we don't get something now, the game may not allow us to get it later. I don't know. Yeah, I don't I'm, know I'm either. I'm used to having, like, uh, the old Shadow Gate. How many times do you have to restart? Because you left something or didn't pick it up? Yeah, no, that happened a lot. Like, supposedly... Or you used you used a, a, a drink too soon? Supposedly, there's no way to soft lock the original game, but there totally was. Easily. All right, let's let's summon us summon us a Lackmere. Likely another cutscene coming. Your eyes roll back into your head as you focus on the stone obelisk. You whisper Invokan and unleash the spell. Ah, here we go. Image of Lackmere materializes with shit. Listen carefully to my words, boy. There were many who followed the path of the one. Worthy were they, and I counted them as brothers and sisters. Now only I remain. He who is called Timeless. I have fought the good fight, sending many of Talimar's horde back to the depths that spawned them. And though my power is beyond that of mortal man, it is not without limit. But why do I appear before you thus? Am I a ghost? <laughs> no. Surely I am more than that. Lich. This is naught but a projection. As my living being has sought shelter within my tower, it is here I continue my studies to aid you in what ways I can. I grow weary. But know this, I have glimpsed a vast power at the foundation of this castle. This power the Warlock Lord covets above all else. But he fears as well, a hero from the line of the ancients. <laughs> or so says Gabriel the Bard. Gird yourself against what is to come, simple soldier. And forsake me not. Follow the ways of the circle. Stray not from its path. And the image of Lackmere materializes from within the Abelus. Stray not from the path, he finishes as he fades from... Uh, nothing. This, and leaving nothing behind. No gifts this time? I never. At least a brownie. You think 